Hey, I'm Michael Sean Corby, Global Creative Director for Living Proof, and I am here to show you today a perfect solution to your clients when they say, can you give me a little more volume in the crown? Can I have a little more volume here? And what do you do? You tease it, you attack her with hairspray. And I'm here to tell you that there is an easier way that will create usable volume for her that's going to last for days. So I know you're interested, so let's get started here. Most clients, they tend to want their volume more toward the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a section, a rectangular section, that is slightly deeper than the comb Right, so you could see if the comb were going through it, it's just got maybe another eighth to a quarter of an inch. And then here, I want you to really get in there and see that it's about exactly the size, the scope of range of where the comb can be working. So we're a little deeper this way, and we're exactly what the comb can handle this way because you don't wanna go beyond the range of the comb. Next, what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to take the section. There's no product, there's nothing yet, just a good blow dry as usual. And so now what I'm gonna do is teeth are up on the comb, and then I'm gently going to tap the back of this section, making sure that I'm not going all the way through that section. So when I put it this way, beautiful shine. When I put it this way, you can see just these little loops and indentation. That is the sign of a good <laughs> back combing there. Now, that would be too much volume, but we're just getting started here. So this one little section can create beautiful volume. I'm now going to take our heat styling spray, brand new by Living Proof in our PhD line, and it's not hairspray, it's not stiff or sticky, it actually has absolutely no hold. It's about helping to protect the hair and helping you to have the perfect shape no matter what you desire. You could use it for sleek flat hair, you could use it to curl the hair. Heat styling spray to straighten your hair, but in this case, I am using it to give that perfect, beautiful bounce and volume and just to protect from the heat. Now that I've got that in there, I'm going to take a large, usually the largest barrel you have because we're looking to create volume, we're not looking to create wave. And I'm gonna heat the back of that section and then I'm gonna wrap the hair around like so, and then we're gonna hold it in place. Wrapping around, and you wanna leave it until it's almost too hot to touch. I say about 20 seconds or so. You wanna make sure that the iron can still move in there, and then when that's done, you're ready to go, and you now, all you have to do is allow that to cool. Now this one little section is gonna go a long way, but I'm just gonna do one more while we allow that to cool. Again, working in that rectangle that's going to be slightly deeper than my comb, taking it across to the other side. And make sure you go wide enough. You don't wanna just hit at the part because that will cause indentation. And then gently, gently, Topage or back comb the back side, making sure that the front side is shiny. Coming back in, putting lots of our heat styling spray on the back side and the front side. Large barrel iron. Heat the back. Really let it get in there and do its thing. Wrap around. And then when you're in place, for about 20 seconds, we want to keep moving in there until you see that shine lock in and that there's a slight heat to the touch on the hair. When that's done, I come out and it really holds in place nicely already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I don't want to leave that, right? We're not looking for a kind of Peg Bundy thing. We're looking for beautiful, usable volume into the hair. So we're going to take that and we're gonna gently just start brushing, starting at the ends, working all the way through, and then all the way through here as well. So start at the back, take it away, and you can just kind of wiggle through that, and then let it fall. And you can see, just with that one section, that's not back going. This is actually something you can get your fingers into. Does it look frizzy? No. Is it stiff or sticky? Absolutely not. 
Let's take the next one. It's nice and cool now. And this is something you can do in the salon, right? Just to give them that little oomph that's gonna probably last them a couple days. They're gonna love you for that. And it's also a little tip or trick that you can teach your clients so that they're more successful with their hair every single day. So if you didn't catch all of it, make sure you watch it a couple times because this is something that is really going to build the volume in your hair, give you that oomph, giving you that thickness and that lift and that texture that you really want. Finish it with a little flex hairspray. Look, it's not ridiculous. It's just transformed instant volume and beautiful texture on my beautiful model and friend Colleen.